Okay, first up is Easy Mode by Barely Even Games. Now that is a harsh thing to call yourself. You're kind of just setting the setting your stall out as well. I kind of make a game, but you know, you could barely even call it a game. But anyway, I'm not here to critique the name. We're here to critique the game. And that rhymes, so it must be true. This was a submission for the Ludum Ludum Dare 47 uh, game jam. Gamepad highly recommended. I don't have a gamepad. Um, if you want me to get a play game play like that, you want me to play with a gamepad, send me some money and I'll buy one, uh, and then I'll play with the gamepad. Uh, fight through a sentient planet as it adapts to your skill as you loop through the same level over and over. It is always the same map, but the terrain and placement of enemies and items is altered to create a greater challenge. Playtime. Normal 5 to 10 minutes speed run. My best is 244.03. I'm sure someone can blow that out of the water. I'm sure they can as well. And that someone probably won't be me. Major selling points. You can destroy bullets by punching them, just like in real life. Killing enemies will refill health. You can ignore the princess at the end. Great. Destroy the difficulty button to activate speed run mode. Shows timer on level. No, this is not a rage game. The enemies and obstacles are crazy, but your hero is crazy too. Game will be beatable without dying. Interesting. Okay. Whatever you say, sir. Let's jump in. Nice. I love that dog. Is that your dog? What's his name? What's this fella? Okay. I feel like these guys are mocking me. They're kind of chuckling away, saying, you'll never beat this game. All right, easy mode. Let's, uh, seems deceiving, but let's start. Stinking tutorials, I hate them. Me too. Well, playable ones I don't mind. Is this a playable one? It is. Why does my speech bubble move when I run? Easy mode, move, WSD, or D-pad. Well, I don't have a D-pad. I'm taking my, my text bubble with me. Jump. I like the fact that you've put the uh, text into the background, that's good. Um, jump, space, uh, or gamepad A. Okay. Not a massive space bar jumping kind of fan. I don't like pushing my thumb down to jump. I prefer pushing W to jump. It feels more intuitive that I'm going to be jumping up and my finger moves up on the keyboard. Um, I've said that in previous videos as well. That's just a personal uh, preference of mine. Uh, punch. L. Is that a punch? I'm throwing my fist at somebody. Okay, so he's dead. Double jump. Jump in the air. Well, that makes sense. Vortexes increase vertical velocity. So they move me upwards. And reset double jump. Nice, so it's basically, you, you hit, I, I think I'm passing on it. It's like a trampoline. Nice. Dash, keyboard K. This is great. I love the um, the slow and steady progress of how you're um, explaining everything. A lot of, a lot of the time, <clears throat> uh, people will just stick all of these words and, and uh, buttons on one page and expect me to remember them. So I can punch and I can dash. Nice. I like that little effect. That's really good. Okay. But yeah, I'm not a massive fan of space. See, I figured that out. Okay. Um, I'm not a massive fan of spacebar jumping. It just it just feels much more intuitive to push W. Uh, killing enemies restores health. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Destroy all artifacts to open the exit. What's that? Is that an artifact? Looks like a pickup. I like how it's glowing and changing color. Okay, so that's a health bar. Interesting. Okay. Who's this guy? Who's this gal? Great job. You rescued me. Can I ignore her? Is that the princess? That's not a very princessy outfit. Who's this guy? I can just punch him in the face and he doesn't do anything? Is it even a guy? Is it a statue? Okay, I'm back where I started. Okay, I get it. So this is the level, and now this is normal mode. Um, I'm not sure that you should really need to take that text everywhere. I think once you've read it, jump off of there, it should just disappear. Okay. This isn't the same level. Okay, maybe this is the level that, um... Yeah, in your face. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I, I play games. 
easy. This is pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna get <clears throat> I'm gonna get the hang of this, and then I'm gonna beat your I'm gonna try and beat your um your speed run. It was 244, wasn't it? Got ya. What's that? Is that a laser? Does that hurt me? Yes, I did it. Very nice. Okay, aren't right, you going to save me? Um, I, well, I, I was told I can ignore you. And the text is going off the screen, is that? This place keeps changing, bring it on. Hard mode. Maybe have a, um, like you've got a lot of empty space at the bottom and at the top here. You could utilize that. Instead of having this massive uh, text box, um, you could probably just have like a little picture of the player and then a, a dialogue box here which just updates. And that overlaps the, uh, that's a bit confusing. Well, it's not, I mean, aesthetically, it's not as pleasing to me as it could be. Uh, and this is hard mode, okay. Oh my word. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah. My character is crazy. I'm throwing my fist at people. No, nothing up there to get. Do you have to kill all the enemies? Or can I just run through the level? Oh my word, get out of here. Yeah. Seems quite easy. Is that why it's called easy mode? I feel like the bullets are not really damaging me that much to the point where I can just I just I just spam my way through them. I'm not afraid of these bullets. Is this a boss? Okay, I'm afraid of this guy. Do I speak too soon? Yeah, no, he's easy. Did I complete the game? It's adapting to you, to your skill level. I feel like that guy is going to come to life at some point, and that's going to be like a big boss. Okay, compo mode. I'm not actually adapting to you, you're adapting to me. Okay, the riddles. Okay. Okay, so I need to jump over there. Okay, so I can destroy that. But I can just run through it. It doesn't really, um... Ah! Go down! Ah! Okay. I'm gonna speed run it after. I can just run through those things. They don't really... They take a minimal amount of health of me. Those guys are a joke. Whoa! Okay, alright. I felt like that should have been harder than it was. Yeah, it's nice, it's a nice game. It's quite easy though. I don't know if I'm really speaking too soon. But well, did I just jump on that guy's head to kill it? Yeah, like, I've been I've been smashed with these bullets and I still have practically a full health bar. run through these things. Should I have gone up there first? I don't know. I've made my choice, so I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. What? Okay, this is harder because they're all at the top. Killed. Killed. Okay, that did a bit more damage. Now I can't get through there because there's um I can't get back up there now. Oh, I can't get back up there. Get out of here. Moving door. <clears throat> mash. Mash. Mash the button. See, I've got to break these down now because... Okay, punching sends me backwards. Kill them. Do I get health for killing the doors? Whoa! I do need to kill them because... Well, that was easy. Okay, it's good. It's quite satisfying in a way. I, I really like the uh, the attack. Um, it's very satisfying to destroy these enemies. I guess I'm saying that they're quite easy, but I feel if they were any harder, I just it would just be r ridiculous, and I'd get really frustrated, and, and my, my feedback would be make them easier. Um, I think it's angry. It's making something bad. Okay. Well, I killed him again. Final form mode. Okay. 
I feel like this thing here is uh, is going to be the final boss here. Okay, see you later, guys. I've got time for you. Well, okay, so this is. Come and get me. Come and get me. Yeah, it's, it's very satisfying. He's done a great job with the uh, the enemies. I'd like to see a little bit more variety with the enemies, I think. Oh man, this is like a bullet hell. Oh my goodness. Okay, go up over the top. Okay. Keep bouncing. I don't want to bounce on these little trampoline vortex thingies. Okay, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> I take it back. Make it easier. I bounce off the top of those those bullets. Okay, that's what's keeping me from um. That was that, that's what's keeping me from getting to where I need to go. I want to go down, but these guys keep shooting at me. Kill that guy first. So they just keep pushing me up. Did I die? And I go back to the game. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the fact that you bounce off the bullets. I think is that is that uh, by is that intentional? Um, because that is really frustrating. Yeah, I just want to be able to fall down to the bottom. Oh god, I forgot to get that thing up there. Maybe I can go back and get these. Okay, he's got those. Okay, I'm down. This is where I want to be. See, when I'm down the bottom there, I can even hide on that ledge. It was easy when I got to the bottom there. It's just trying to get down. They just keep bouncing on top of the bullets. Okay, got those. Do I need to kill every enemy? I feel like I want to. But there's a little arrow as well, I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> that little arrow in the top left. That could be more predominant. That's telling me where to go. I like it. But yeah, it's a good feature, but make it more predominant because that is a, a great addition. And I only just noticed it now. <clears throat> I don't know if I like the fact that you get health from destroying the enemies. I feel like there should be little kind of health pickups that you can get which are like in uh, little corridors that lead nowhere. So it's like a cost reward thing where, yeah, you can go get them, but you might end up coming out worse than you went in. And it'll add another element to like, oh, do I, am I good enough to go and get the, the health pickup? Um, you definitely do need some kind of health pickup because uh, it's pretty relentless. Crumbs, look at this. Oh my word, it's like I'm riding a wave of bullets. To get out. Kill him one at a time. Oh, this, what's the, that door? Get out of here, door. Yeah, get out. Ah, oh, you just ran into the door again. Everything is so bouncy. I bounce off the bullets, they hit me from above, and I, and I bounce. I bounce into them. Get out of here. Yeah, these little ones here, I need I need some of these to replenish my health. Yeah, get out of here, door. I think it's a door. It might be some kind of portal. Very easy. Good, is that all of them? Yeah, that little thing's gone away. That means that I've got them all. Oh my word. Okay. I didn't need to kill him. Is this thing going to kill me now? Wow, you really did it. Congrats, bro. And I killed that thing. What is the purpose? What is the purpose of that little statue? Congratulations. You somehow did it. It was a lot, I know, but you did it. Back time. 10 minutes? Oh my, and you did it in 2.44? Okay, I'm not going to try and beat that because I'm going to get nowhere near it. I do like it though, it's really fun. Um, considering you're playing the same level over and over again, although it did feel a little bit different. Um, a couple of things I would add 
is I would make that little arrow uh, thingy that points you in the direction of the those little teardrop uh, glowy pickup thingies. Um, make that more predominant because that's a really great feature. Um, I would put that in some kind of HUD at the bottom and I've put also the text in the same HUD so I tie it all in together um, with a little picture of the character and then when the princess is talking to you, uh, maybe put her photo at the bottom, you know, like a, like a typical RPG style text thing. Um, and it wouldn't take up so much room on the screen. Um, but yeah, I thought it was, a, it was a great effort. I think in terms of the, the theme, which I think was stuck in a loop, um, it worked well. I didn't really get the, um, the reasoning behind that little statue thing that I killed every time I found the princess. That wasn't too clear. Um, but overall, uh, fun. Yeah, nice. Uh, and I completed it as well, which is not something I do often with uh, these game jam games. So well done. Before I get into the next game, uh, just a quick shout out to myself. Um, over here on the Jam page of Itch, um, I, have a, I have my very first number one Xana Jam starting on the 23rd of October. Two people have already joined. Thank you so much for joining and putting your trust in my Jam. Um, if you want to go ahead and join it, I'd love to have you in it, the more the merrier. You can have a read of this in your own time, but I'm going to play through every single game that's submitted on my channel in a Best of the Jam video. I'm also going to pick a winner, and there'll also be a ranking uh, for the public vote as well uh, when it's all finished. I'm going to provide insights, um, I'm going to provide feedback and suggestions on how you can improve and make your games better. Um, so yeah, go and check it out, and please uh, take part and, and come and be part of the Xander Jam family. Okay, next up is this game from S.J. Palmer, made for the Ludendare 47 Stuck in a Loop game jam. The game's called Shape Escape. Sounds great. Sounds great, Shape Escape. I'm full of the rhymes today. Um, I full screened it and it all went over to the left. Is that supposed to happen? Um, should we go over to the left? Shape Escape tutorial dot speed. There is a lot of information. Like, why do I need to know? Um, why do I need a bar to change my dot speed when I have no idea what a dot is or the relevance of that to the game? Um, time before dots explode. Yeah, see, I don't like getting all these options. I feel a bit overwhelmed. I'm quite a simple fellow. Uh, let's play the tutorial, see if we can shed some light. These are your lives. Drag them into the board. Okay. Bend the track by clicking and holding. There's a, a mousy, clicky, pointy game. Guide the smaller shapes to the same shaped goals for points. Okay, so squares go in squares. Um, be too slow and they'll explode. That seems a bit harsh. Um, but get to the wrong goal and you'll lose a life. Okay, well, it all seems very harsh. Um, where are my settings? Right, okay, so it's telling me to move this triangle. But there are no triangles, so let's... Okay, I get yeah. Come here, triangle. Hey! I put... I put... Okay, so... Right, okay, so... Um... I get it. There we go. Okay. This is actually quite good. Go. Okay, put that in there. Put that on there. Can't move it. Once I've put it down, I can't move it. Okay, so that went in the wrong, they went in the wrong hole. Where's all my shapes? Okay, do I have to... Um, yeah, go around there. I want to, I want it to be permanent. Why can't it be permanent? Get it there. Okay, there's a... Uh-oh. Uh ah, nuts. Go, go, go in. Okay, so you'll eventually go around. You can go there. Um, I'd like more shapes to appear up here faster. Uh, I feel there's a lot of waiting around. Oh no. Okay, so that's fine. That triangle's stuck on there. Nothing can hurt me now. I've got a random six up here. I'd like some information on what that is. Presumably some kind of score. Um, okay, there's another square. Easy. Seven. Okay, so that is my score. But then that square stays there, and then I've got this... Oh, no. Yeah, it's it's a gr you've got some really good potential here. Um, there's just a lot of waiting around. Like, I really like the concept, but I I've got more shapes than I have kind of shape holes, if, if a shape hole is a thing. Um, I'd like to 
see, they just explode. But what can I do? Like, there's literally nothing I can do. There's one square, but I've got three on the board. And then when I when that thing goes in that shape, I feel like that should disappear because now the um, they're stuck on there now. So the other shapes that I don't want to go in there are going to be um, are going to eventually find it. And that one's going to explode in a minute. Um, yeah, I, you, you could do a lot more with this game. I really like the concept. Um, I don't know why it appeared up in the top left and then in the middle, but um, you definitely need to speed up the gameplay. Go on, get in there. Um, and that one's going to go in there. Yeah, like the, you've, the, the, it's a solid concept, and I get it. It's a really nice little unique puzzle game. Um, I don't know if the colors bear relevance to the shapes. Um, maybe you could have the squares red, the triangles blue, and the circles green. Um, you know that might add another uh, puzzle element to the game. I like I'd like these to be able to stay put when I move them. Um, it, it would make me feel like I've got a bit more control over things. Um, and you definitely need more little shapes uh, up here because you know give me something to do. Otherwise, I'm just watching shapes go around in circles. Um, but yeah, great potential. Um, that's my feedback. Um, on to the next one. Okay, last one for this video. Um, I clicked on this game because I read the word um, bullet hell, uh, which I hate, well, I, I hate to love. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. It's by Grizzlius Maximus, which is a, a really cool name, I can't lie. Um, I really, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. Uh, made for the Luden Diary 47, if you do not hear music, refresh the page. Well, that's always a good start. Zoom in, you, zoom in using your browser to enlarge the game. You can do this for all itch browser games. Try the Windows version for best experience. Well, I don't have a, I don't have a PC, I, I, I work off of a Mac. So uh, I will play the browser version. Objective, kill as many monsters as you can. Isn't that the objective in all games? Um, all monster games? Uh, probably not. Um, the more you kill, the harder it gets. Okay, so the difficulty uh, increases as I kill more. So if I don't kill anyone, could I just whiz through the level? Uh, or is it a high score based game? Uh, side quest, obtain the guns scattered around the map. WSD to move, space to jump. Another space to jump. I really hate space to jump. I much, much prefer a W to jump. Uh, but this is a top down game, I suppose, so I don't see how that goes. F to restart and kill all clones. Okay, I'm going to get straight in and we're going to give it a go. Let's full screen this. Can I full screen it? I can't. But I zoom in, okay, using the browser. I don't want to do that. I'm going to play it as it is. Press space to continue, WSD to move, left mouse click. To shoot, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. So I could have W as a jump. Um, can I double jump? Yeah, the controls—they feel good. They feel tight. I like it. You've done a good job there. Okay, so I can jump. Oh. Okay, great. Oh, that's really nice. I love the fact that the the score pops up above their head when you when you kill them. And oh, I get, I get one hit. Is that all I got? And there's myself. There's my previous self. Okay, so I get to watch my previous attempt. What what relevance does that have? Okay. Oh my word. Okay, so don't go down there. Let's try again. So there's my previous two selves. That's a really nice effect, and I've seen a few games use it, but what is the relevance of it? Um, also, where am I? Okay. A little bit of lag there killed me. Okay, and I can only take one hit, that has really got me on the edge. And my own bullets, although they're a different colour, they're not enough of a different colour for me not to be scared of them and try and dodge them. And look at all these guys, look at all these previous me's. They are just confusing them, they are confusing the matter. Now I need to get over here. Okay. So it's a high score based game, um, but I don't seem to be able to last very long. Oh, goodness me. The graphics are great. I really love the retro feel. Um, the sound effects are really, really juicy. I really am enjoying those. 
but it is absolutely bullet hell. You are correct. And I really don't like these other me's. Like, why are we? Why is that a thing? Why have you put that in there? Because there we go. All over. Um, because all it's doing is just confusing me. Or is that is that the idea? And where am I going? Is this just? Is then there, there's no way to beat the level? I guess it's just survive. Or is it? I don't know. And can I get up there? And I died again. And I've fallen down. Okay, I need to feel like I've got no sense. Uh, my my other self. Oh wait a minute. If I stand on here and die, will my other self stay on there long enough for me? Okay. To get up there, I got you. I'm figuring it out. I'm smart. Whoa, whoa. What's this flag? Is that a checkpoint? Okay, it's a checkpoint. Good. Now, other self, go stand on it. Okay, I get it. That's why you have the other U's. So, th that whole thing lends itself to the fact that you have to die in order to progress, which I don't like. Because in order for me to get through here, I have to die, and then my previous... Uh, my previous self has to go stand on it. And now I've got all these other guys trying to follow me through here, like the previous attempts of me. So I'm going to stand on here and die. Yeah, I, d I don't like that. Maybe I will prefer some kind of um, in-game object that I can push around, maybe. Um, okay, so I can't do anything until I die. I can go up here. I can go up here. And now I'm stuck here again. And now I've got to go down here. Yeah, it's great. Graphics-wise, um, great. I love how, like, you can... One of the biggest um, issues that I have with Game Jam games is it just takes too long to get back into the action. And the fact that you can just hit spacebar and you're back and ready to go, that is a, that is really fantastic. I love that. Um, because quite often that doesn't happen and it's a lot. It's hard to get back into the action. This really does want to make me try again and again. You really kind of nailed that that aspect. But... I really don't like having to die to progress. That really just gives me a sense of um, of just not progressing. I think you're trying too hard with the puzzle aspects. Like, I get it, but because you die so frequently, I think it hinders that that mechanic that you're going for. Oh, and I can look around with the mouse a little bit better. I think it hinders it because. I'm, I get what I'm supposed to do. I go and I, I stand on a lever, I make blocks visible or, or not visible, then I die, so my previous self goes and does it, but then quite often I die again um, whilst trying to accomplish the next tiny little bit just because of the difficulty level. Um, I feel that you know there's a little bit of fine tuning that could be done there, but the concept is great, it's really good, the, the graphics are fantastic. Um, was it a tile, was it, was it an art asset set that you had or did you design them all? Um, but they look really good. They go with the, the look and feel of the game. The sound is great. Um, it's actually really, really well done and really, really enjoyable. Um, it's just a bit hard. Um, and what keeps me wanting to play a game is a sense that I'm progressing. Um, and I don't get that with this. I get how to do it, but it's just a bit too challenging for me to kind of want to keep trying again. I do want to try again, and I do want to try again again when I die, but... The fact that I die so frequently is is the issue. I feel like you could kind of pull back a little bit. I get that it's a bullet hell game, but even still, um, you could pull back a little bit just so that I'm playing for longer between retries, if that makes sense. But anyway, other than that, I love it. I think it's great. I think it works really, really well. It's really, really easy to get the hang of. Make double you jump for every other game you make, um, just for me, because um, that's my personal preference. Um, but yeah, great job. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.